So we're going to discuss today how to book the SAP certification exam. Now, before we discuss this one, how what is the booking process? Uh, first of all, I'll, I'll talk about the SAP certification exam rules in different countries. Okay. So, if you are from India and surrounding countries, uh, there's a strict rule over there that either you should have a training from SAP Authorized Center, which is very costly, and or you should have some relevant experience. I believe it's two to three year experience within the same module of SAP. Okay, so if you're already working in, in SAP, then probably there's no issue. You can just uh, book the exam with no issue. Otherwise, if you're fresher, you need to go via the SAP Authorized Center for the exam booking. And for other countries like US, UK, Australia, Canada, there's no such rule at all. Okay, anyone can book the certification exam online and just go there and appear for the exam, even if you have never seen the SAP screen before. Okay, it's very flexible, very straightforward process to book the exam online, and there's no requirement at all whether you know SAP or not. Okay, and for other countries, so if you belong to some other countries, I would advise you that to check with your local SAP office, you should have either no rule or the rule like, as I said, with, as per India. So I will tell you about how to contact SAP and how to book the exam. So we're going to go through that process here. So before we discuss that, I'll talk about some option for India and surrounding countries where there's a strict rule for appearing for the certification exam. Okay, so there's not much option we have, but just one little option to save your money is that um, have training from any private trainer and fly to the nearest country to appear for the exam. Okay, so you can go to the nearest country and uh, appear for the exam and have the training from anywhere. You can come to Australia, you can go to Canada, US, wherever is easy for you or someone can look after you. You just need to pay for the flights and probably accommodation, that's all. And the other option is enroll for the SAP Authorized e-learning training program and optionally in parallel have the training from any private trainer. That means if you enroll for SAP Authorized e-learning training program, which is a self-learning and which is half price, I think nearly half price as compared to the classroom training. And here you can save money, 50% money. And just if needed, you can, uh, if you're not conf confident with the self-learning, why e-learning, then you can have the training from any private trainer online or there's so many trainers there. So that's another option for you. Okay, just a little bit saving for money, but again, the rule still applies. For other countries where there's no such issue for booking the exam, here we talk about how to book SAP certification exam in most of the countries, which is a very straightforward process. So SAP has outsourced the certification exam to a third party company called Pearson View. Okay, so exam will be performed via Pearson View, okay, in most of the countries. And you can book the exam only and pick up your um, it should be online, sorry. Uh, you should book the exam online and pick up your exam date and, and time that suits you. Okay, that's, it's very much flexible. You can pick any date during working days and very flexible time, nine to five most of the time. So here we're going to see that how you can book the exam. Again, for every exam, there's a exam, exam code. Okay, here you can see that's the exam code for MM. C underscore TSCM 52 underscore 66, SD has exam code, PP has exam code, and CRM has exam code. These are the exam code latest as per today. Okay, so whenever there is a, uh, a version change in SAP, they change the number of the exam. Okay, however, the basic questions, they remain the same most of the time. So if you do not know the exam, just Google it. Google the SAP MM certification code. Okay, so... For example, if I go to Google, if I say SAP MM certification exam code, 
here you can see that is exam code here okay it will open the website here for sap and here you can see some more forums and um, so you can search for the exam okay make sure you know the right exam uh, the correct exam code even if you if you try to book the old exam code you can't because that will not be available on the sap website anyway if you can see that on sap website that's is there okay so first step is you need to find the exam code what is your exam code and then second step is um google it okay the best way to find the exam code is to google it okay so for example if i google this code if i copy this code for mm certification exam i just copy google this code here okay so here it will first open the sap website here you can see it's showing you the training.sap.com so open that website which is the sap one okay if i open that here it's open okay. okay and here you can see because i'm in australia it will be showing me the uh, australian domain of the website okay so depending on which country you are from it will show you that domain of the website so here it will show me the price as well for australia only because i'm in australia if you are in us you're in canada or any other country it will show you that domain and the the price in your own currency so let it process i already opened it here on the other page here you can see i already opened it here because i know it takes a while to see the to read the price and all that so here you can see in australian currency uh, australian dollar that is a price okay plus gst the service tax on the this price which will be 600 something total for the exam fee so open this page of whatever certification you're looking for and you can see the exam code here if that exam code is here that's fine that means it's still there if that's not available on the website that means it's obsolete so here um, you can see um, the as i said it is done by the pearson view in most of the countries and the language i want to use is english and before you pay for the exam i want you to scroll down and here you can see uh, an email okay depending on which country you're from or which domain sap is, website is showing you here so here you can see education.apa.sap.com write an email to this address okay and ask them about the certification exam process even if you're belonging to other countries maybe i'm not sure some european countries then better to ask them confirm then if there's any rule or any what are the procedure just ask them okay and if there's any rule so send an email to them and also there's somewhere you can contact them via phone as well here at the bottom you can see yeah at the bottom if you see that is their phone number i can call them and ask them about the process or i can email them education.anz so anz stands for australia and new zealand okay in your country you will see something else education dot something else so make sure you call them or you you email them and ask the procedure before you pay them and once you're happy and then you can book the exam how to book the exam here you can see that is a price i'm going to pay and click on add to basket okay so here it's saying that that's a price plus uh, i know that there's a service tax on this one and go to proceed to basket here we need to pay via your credit card so here you can go to proceed to checkout so that's a total price proceed to checkout okay so i'm not sure why it's not going through so if you go to proceed to checkout it will yeah it will ask you to log in or if you already have a sap uh, if you already has a user account in sap that's one you can also log in as guest okay so i would advise to create sap user account okay click on the middle one create an account it will ask you to pay the price via um, the credit card and once you pay uh, here they will email you later on here i can send the end of the details and then pay 
and they can they will then email you your details some details that you need to use on the pearson view website pearson view website okay so they will provide you most likely they provide you s number okay so s some number one two three four five for example six seven i'll call it this is a long number and a password they will provide you two things once you pay them you need to use this password and they will also send you all the instruction how to boot the exam anyway but here i'm just telling you brief so if you just google pearson view you will of course get the instruction for from sap so if i google it pearson view that's a website here open that they basically all over the world they're performing different exams not only sap they're performing different exam okay so here somewhere uh, for test taker test taker home and here you can type sap press enter or you can also go to sa a to z list of all programs so here you can see the different programs you can see we we'll need to search for sap scroll down here's sap click on sap and somewhere here here you need to sign in or create account so whatever details you are given then you need to log in here and once you log in then you will be booking the exam online Okay, so it will give you the list depending on which city you are from. You can select your city. For example, I'm in Melbourne. So within Melbourne, it will show me uh, maybe 10 or 20 different centers. So I can pick whatever is the, whichever is the nearest one to my home. And most of them perform nine to five during business hours, business days. So you can pick a center, pick a time, that's it, done. Go there on time, take your photo ID with you, and uh, even they will they will send you the instruction anyway for bringing the, uh, your uh, photo id and all that okay so that's that's very straightforward so just pay on the sap website get the instruction open pearson view website book the exam here so that's that's very easy process in most of the countries okay. and how to prepare for sap certification okay so many people think that um it's a bit hard test, but trust me, it's not hard if you have really practiced a lot. Okay, or you have you know you have covered all the topics, done the practice well on the server, that's it. Many of my students who never had SAP any SAP background, they passed certification with 94% score. It's a huge score for a fresher. So, how to prepare for the exam? Make sure you check the syllabus on the website. When you open the SAP website to book the exam, you can see the syllabus over there. Okay, so make sure you know the syllabus, what are the topics going to be there in the exam, and make sure you cover all those topics. Okay, and the main key to pa pass the exam is practice, practice, and practice, practice. The more you practice, the more you learn. Okay, the, to learn, if you ask any SAP consultant what is the best way to, to learn SAP or pass exam, they will ask you to practice, practice, and practice. And um, if you enroll to my SAP training, whether MMST or anything, then you will be given the certification question I'll be providing you. And I can guarantee you will get exactly same question, many of them, in the real time exam. Okay, I can guarantee that. So that's all about the booking exam. And before we go, um uh, check slavers point so i just want to show you the check slavers point as well so here if i go back yeah here so here so that's the exam code make sure the exam code is right and that's exam name and here you can see the slavers okay so for sapm you can see here for procurement special process in procurement 8 to 12 percent so there will be here you can see there will be total 80 questions here you can see there will be 280 question. You can click on this PDF link to see the example question. And cut score is 59% is a passing mark. And uh, here then you can see the slavers, uh, special procurement process in procurement. You can open that and talk about the topic. 
and inventory management it talk about these topics you need to cover and you can see what topic will be covered in what percentage you can scroll down make sure you know all these topics okay that's it that's very easy yes yeah, so i uh, wish you good luck with the exam and uh, thank you to watch this video i'll catch you in the next video